Can patients live normally with a defibrillator or ICD? Many patients, I would say most patients, will have a near normal lifestyle with some restrictions. For example, if a patient with an ICD, as, or recently having an ICD procedure, has not had fainting or a cardiac arrest, he uh, will most likely be able to drive within three to four weeks after the implant procedure. But it's important to recognize that if the patient has lost consciousness or eventually receives a shock, then uh, he will not be able to drive for three to six months, depending on the medical situation, uh, after that event. So that is concerning driving, which is a frequent question we have from patients. One important factor, a patient with an ICD will not be able to drive commercially. Patients with ICDs must avoid magnets, strong electrical fields, uh, arc welding equipment, and even jumper cables because they can in interfere with the device. Patients with ICDs must carry an ICD ID card that they will use when traveling and to inform the airport screeners that they are wearing this device. They also will be able to show this to any medical personnel before undergoing some procedures, for example, MRI, imaging, or uh, radiation therapy. That is really how I would uh, summarize uh, the most frequent restrictions in patients who are wearing an ICD. How will the defibrillator be checked to make sure everything works fine? First of all, the lithium battery of the device will last between six to 10 years, on the average, eight years. A follow-up visit will be scheduled approximately four to six weeks after the implant procedure to check that the wound is healing well and also to verify using a programmer that the, that the device is functioning uh, adequately. Thereafter, the patient will be monitored with a home transmitter using uh, wireless technology that will give us all the information on the device. He will also be informed approximately every three months that the device is functioning well. If it's not the case, if there is a problem, then we will ask him to come to the defibrillator clinic so that we can adjust or make the necessary treatment for his uh, problem. If you have any more questions, please call your doctor or your cardiologist, and in some cases you will need to speak with uh, a uh, medical uh, personnel of the defibrillator clinic.